Greetings, brothers and sisters. There was a news article the other day about George Soros condemning Google and Facebook. Don't believe a word of it. The man the world loves to hate. I say to you, don't hate him. There was a YouTuber named Russian Vids. If you're not familiar with him, he would cover psyops, hoaxes, and numerology in staged events, and he had a pretty big following. Not long ago, he vanished. A number of searches came to be available after his disappearance, and let me further explain. When Russian vids disappeared off the internet, that included all of his videos, his t-shirt store, and all mention of him, except the articles that besmirch his character. It is to me at least seemed fairly obvious that that was orchestrated. He was removed and silenced. Someone did not want his words to be heard. This isn't a matter of him breaking a rule or two on YouTube. He is gone. What does Russian vids have to do with George Soros? Russian vids is not and was not a multi-billionaire, where George Soros is. There are a number of easy-to-find videos and articles on George Soros that label him an enemy to the entirety of Earth. If George Soros wanted that information removed from the internet, he could do it quite easily. That leaves me with the conclusion that he knows about all the defamation of his character, or that is the scripted villain role he is playing. He has a fund called Open Society Foundation, which does a number of things for sure, but one of the uses of this fund is to create protests as well as protesters. I believe the purpose for which is vast, but to touch on a few major points. One, to cause division amongst the people. Two, to usher in new changes that remove our freedoms. Three, to cause confusion. Four, to fuel racism and hate. To use a popular movie reference, I see George Soros as the emperor from Star Wars. He is used to fuel hatred. So all of this Google and Facebook talk, who is the same dad? People that use Google and Facebook, maybe? Is there any truth to what he says? If there is, it has been twisted to create fear in the masses. George Soros is a puppet master. He manipulates the stock market to ruin corporations and to ruin countries. What makes you think that he isn't manipulating the masses with his words? For me, I feel the best thing to do is to not feed into him. It is clear that the corporate media that he has a hand in owning wants us to know about him. It messes with our emotions. Don't let it. Know that this event and all events with him are planned years in advance. Don't work for him as a paid protester or a crisis actor. Be good to your brothers and sisters. If George Soros really had anything against Google and Facebook, he wouldn't use them to his agenda. As always, if you like my work, please subscribe or say thanks in the comments. The more interaction I have with everyone, the more inclined I will be to record more. Until next time, good night and God bless.